the iPad. Um, and we came up we came up with the idea that it's bigger, so it's got a really nice screen real estate. Um, it's got a lot more touches, a lot more inputs, and it's a really nice way to play with other people um, socially. I could bring my iPad over to your apartment and we could play a game. Um, as opposed to both of us having to own an iPad and then we both have to bring it out and play with it. Um, because the cost is just so high that you can't expect everybody to have it. So the game we came up with was called Ghost in the Machine. And it's based off the Ouija uh, game by Parker Brothers, I believe. Uh, the idea is that there is this uh, ghost that lives inside your iPad, or maybe it's your iPad itself, and that the other players can interact with this ghost. So what they do is, um, the original Ouija game, you have this uh, object called a planchet. Everybody puts their fingers on it. It's got a little bit of felt underneath, and it slides around. You ask it a question, and it slides around and gives you an answer. Um, it's supposed to be sort of fun and kooky. It's a, uh, the target is meant to be mystically curious teens and adults who want answers from their iPad or from the other side. Um, so it's a fun game. It's, a, it's, it's meant to you know, just be social and fun and show off beautiful screen real estate. Um, but when we translated this app, you can go to the next slide, um, we found that we didn't want the planchet to be the only place to touch. It just didn't work. So we want to translate the experience, but not necessarily be literal. And we've seen a lot of, one of the things we identified as a team was the literalization of an application. And really it's about the experience. So we put a border around the entire app, so it's like a pool. And everybody dips their fingers into sort of this black border around the iPad. And then they can all experience, and it supports, I mean, we're still trying to, we really want to push the touch. So we have... I think up to 2 to 25 players. We were doing research to see how many inputs it would push, and I believe the number came up with was 25. I can't I'm no longer be quoted on it, but uh, i got to find out. But if you have two people, 10 fingers, it's 20 inputs. 25 people, one finger, you could all play. So it's, it's fun. It's meant to be multi-touch. Um, there is sound. There's animation. We came up with a, a sound manager uh, uh, developed by Peter, um, uh, an animation manager, so we can have cool effects. Um, but let's go to the actual app. Uh, we'll show it on the simulator first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the one on the right. Thanks. This is Dan, hell of a developer. Beautiful. Cool. So we, we're going to demo it first here, and then we'll push it onto the iPad um, that we brought in. Um, because again, it's hard to demonstrate multi multiplayer. So it starts off with, uh, you know, an intro screen says, ask your question. Oh. Just hit the one on, uh, there we go. Zoom on. It's got a really great board um, designed by our art team. Uh, we have Carolyn, um, Tatiana, uh, Katrina, sorry, and uh, Scott for strategy. Um, we have it so we've got all these different answers that it could come up with. And then there's a little fun factor that we've got. So, uh, once it gets to a destination, it uh, plays a cool sound. We've got animation that came yeah, through cool. with our animation class. We've got the sound coming in through our sound class. Uh, we could have added more animations. I believe we had two, but we didn't have enough time. Um, so we asked it a question, and then multiple inputs allow the players. There's this black border all the way around that lets anybody kind of jump in and touch it. And that will um, <laughs> cause this thing to jump around and uh, find an answer. We're thinking of ways to find it. Smooth the animation out, maybe using signs and color signs to do circular. Ask it who's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have a question for it? <laughs> who's going to win? And E3. E4. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's there. Um, there's one last conceit that we've done with it because it's not meant just for you, all three players, but also the ghost in the machine. The, whenever, if it ever answers goodbye, then the planchette will actually disappear. So the ghost actually says, I'm actually tired of answering questions, I'm out of the game. So uh, most of the times, <laughs> players decide when the game ends. Every now and then, the game will decide, it's kind of done with you. Um, that's a little fun fact that we kind of put in, because we wanted that ghost behavior come in. Um, lastly, the, the, the extensibility of it, more animation, more sound. 
uh, really kind of driving in that, that touch input um, to be better. Um, same thing with emotion. And a behavior, sort of the ghost is angry today, or the ghost is slow today to wake up. So there's all sorts of things that you can do with the algorithm we came up with. Um, I don't know what it's saying, right? <laughs> um, but we also did it on here. Can we show this up real quick? Really great sound, too. Mic on sound? background sound, and then Peter and I both play, and ask him a question, <laughs> and make <laughs> still comes in. Uh, it's very fast right now, but uh, that's our app. So if you guys want to come and play with it.